What's good with y'all boy Bizman Cam here? That didn't even make sense. What's good with y'all boy Bizman Cam here and I'm back with another video. So I usually start at 8 a.m. for my first client, but today I decided I start a little late to get a little bit of sleep. So my first client's at 9 a.m. They're about 10 minutes away. Just gotta stop, get gas real quick, and then we're gonna go ahead and do my first client. Um, I'm gonna eat a little snack real quick for breakfast, head out. First wash today, or first client today, we're only doing my express wash. So it should take no more than an hour. Second client's another express wash, and then third client is a full detail, so. All right, you guys, so we are on location for our first detail of the day. We're doing my express wash, and uh, if you guys didn't know, pretty much my express wash is my basic detail, so this will come out to $35 or $40, I wanna say. Pretty much what I do is I just wash the outside, wheels and tires, vacuum the inside, and wipe down all the plastics on the interior, so. But yeah, uh, let me show you guys the car real quick. Give you guys a little run around so you guys can see. So if we're doing a Mazda 3. You guys can tell there's a lot, a lot of dirt on the surface, a lot of uh, just dirt, dust, there's bugs, bird poop, anything you can pretty much imagine. Uh, wheels and tires got a lot of um, brake dust on them. You guys can see the front is pretty bad. This is a good candidate for my express wash. Um, I usually like to have people like this where it's not super bad at all. Like you guys can tell there's just light stuff to vacuum yeah we're gonna go ahead and get started on this and uh grind this out All done with the wash. So we got the wash portion of the vehicle done. Let me go ahead and give you guys a quick little run around so you guys remember how disgusting it looked before. I'm not even gonna lie, black paint has a lot of um, has a lot of swirls, swirl marks and scratches, so the paint is very, very imperfected. But as far as the surface level dirt that our goal is to get off, I'd say we definitely did that. You guys can see tires, I mean wheels, definitely like a lot more clean. Um, pretty much nothing on the face of the wheels and then the rest of the vehicle now that we're done with that we're gonna go ahead and start pulling out the rest of our equipment we just got to pull out the vacuum uh we're gonna go ahead and pull out the mats out of the vehicle and uh start vacuuming should be no more than maybe like 25 30 more minutes uh, left in this detail uh, i'd say it's been about 30 minutes so far so i say we're right on schedule All right, so last step is the wipe down. We went ahead, gave it the vacuum. Uh, gotta remember though, it's an express wash, so the goal isn't to get every little piece out. Um, these carpet fibers are very difficult to work with, so I'll explain that to the customer, and um, hope, you know, hopefully they'll be understanding. Mostly customers are understanding, but the goal is to get it a lot better. It's a $35, $40 wash. It's not some luxurious wash. It's to get it, it's to get it clean and to get it better than what it was. So last thing we gotta do is a wipe down. So I'm gonna take my all-purpose cleaner, take my towel and so as simple as this literally i'm gonna do this for all the interior plastics give them a quick spray you can even spray directly under the towel if you don't want to make a mess and just wipe it down it's as simple as this all right you guys we are finished up let me go ahead and show you guys the final product before the customer comes over so like i said not perfect but a lot better than what it was those uh those mats that she has in there are really thick so um, it's like infinite mats pretty much so as much as you clean them more and more dirt or whatnot Comes out if that if that makes sense. I know a lot of you guys mo mo mobile detailers or any type of detailer uh, Will understand what I mean Customers should be headed over and then we got to be headed to our next appointment All right, so we are done with that first one Just wanted to give you guys a cash update so far of what we've made So that customer one just said that her car has never looked so good on my express wash She's actually gonna be a maintenance client from now on for once a month So I told her we'd go ahead and get that set up so, um, she ended up just Apple paying me $45. I would show you guys, but her name is there. Just know that it's $45. So, we're at $45 for the day. About to go to my second walk. Alrighty guys, location number two. We are at in front of a gym. We are at LA Fitness. 
you guys can see there, um, we're on the second vehicle of the day, which is a Tesla Model S. It's a bi-weekly maintenance client that I usually do. Show you guys the interior. Not as bad as it was the first time either. There was so much to vacuum. There's barely anything this time. So I'm glad he kept up with, with it. Uh, this time that's that's super nice that the upkeep was there that's what these maintenance clients are all about so it's super easy to do so should take no more than maybe like 45 minutes on this one so maintenance is $25 per um, I guess per session or whatever give a wash on the outside wheels and tires are cleaned um, tires tire shine and then the inside is just a basic basic uh, wipe down and vacuum. So pretty much the same thing we did as the last one, except it's only 25, because usually my maintenance clients are a lot easier to take care of as I've already done them before, so. We are finished up with the wash. Now it is time for the vacuum. All right, we are all finished up. Just gotta pack up my equipment. So let me go ahead and give you guys the final run around. All I gotta do is put some tire shine on real quick. But this is what the vehicle is looking like now. It's hard to see the paint just because of the shine of the sun. There we go, that's a little better. So got it a lot cleaned up, a lot cleaned up. Cut it a lot better. Look at the little ladybug. I haven't seen a ladybug for a while. But yeah, got it very, very cleaned up. This car has to be clean because this guy's a real estate agent. So you gotta make sure, you know, got his business right. So yeah, here is the interior. Like I said, did a full wipe down of all the plastics and center console, other side. This is the most important part of every business, I feel like, is the marketing aspect. Gotta make sure I get my pictures, of course. Okay, didn't even notice, but as far as payment goes, it was actually left under the screen, which is $60. He leaves $60 every time, which is crazy to me, because this uh, this is only a $25 maintenance, um, maintenance job, but here you guys go, $60. So we're at a total of 60 plus 40 we're at 105 or 45 we're at 105 dollars for the day now quickly gonna pack up head to my last location and uh get this last detail done let's get it had to stop by the gas station real quick to fill up on gas before i go so i can get a little bit of gas in my tank to make sure i make it there had to get a water real quick and then i also stopped for a chicken salad sandwich guys if you don't know these chicken salad sandwiches at the gas station man i don't know if it's in a particular spot but them damn sandwiches be smacking bruh they be smacking so all right you beautiful people we are on site for the third and final vehicle of the day got a ram 1500 so let me go ahead and give you guys the run around we're gonna be doing my exclusive package on this one which is my full details so it's gonna be interior and exterior um you guys can see it's pretty dirty and it's black paint which sucks but i was informed that you know it's waxed pretty often so the paint should be nice and like soft and easy to wash so Hopefully it won't be too bad, but you guys can see how dirty it is. Um, the vehicle is actually being ready to be traded in um, probably this weekend. So I need to get it nice and cleaned up. Um, fenders need to be focused on. Um, and then, yeah, I think the rest of it is pretty self-explanatory just to get it nice and cleaned up. So this is what the outside is looking like. Go ahead and show you guys the inside real quick. Center console, just a little bit of a uh, splats there, nothing too crazy. Here's a dash, I'm hoping it works. Here's what the inside of these look like, inside of the doors. This side and the whole rest of the back. Not super bad on the interior at all. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get my equipment out.
update you guys it is 503 uh, I have about 30 minutes I'd say maybe 25 30 minutes until finish um, I have been a little revived with a little bit of energy but I'm still so so tired um, but we, we knocked we knocked it out pretty much so um, we're done with the interior let me go ahead and sh give you guys the run around real quick so you guys can see so uh, I can get out of here as soon as I'm done this is what we're looking like everything's cleaned every part of the interior you can freaking think of is all clean so got the front dash cleaned as well every little cranny and nook on here on the um on the dash and the steering wheel i went ahead and actually finished up the outside i got completely done with the vehicle so i just figured i'd show you guys the whole thing we went ahead and touched up what we needed to touch up to fix the vehicle um the customer wanted the bed cleaned out a little bit because it's never been cleaned so i went ahead and did that went ahead and cleaned the fenders as well um kind of just actually just coated them uh they were really really dirty he already paid us um you know, I was about to show you how much we made, but let me just show you this. I'll show you this. I'll, you guys have to stay tuned until the end. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up the car. Stay tuned until the end to see how much we made today. Um, on just a normal day of my job detailing. So uh, let me go ahead and finish up. Also, look at my hands. This is what happens when you're grinding, man. So <laughs> all righty, you guys, we are at the end of our day so i'm trying to find a place i probably should have set this up before i started recording but we're ghetto fabulous like that man so we're gonna set this up now give me a second I believe i have like a 250 dollars job tomorrow it's only one vehicle and it's a 250 dollars job so um it should be another good day tomorrow but pretty much gonna give you guys a summary of how i end the day so it is almost it's about to be six p.m. Let's see if I can show you guys. You guys can see 5.58. It's about to be 6 p.m. Uh, we started our day at uh, about 8.30 a.m. I mean, I woke up at 8, but I didn't leave until like 8.30, 8.40-ish. So um, we'll say we started our day at 9 o'clock because that's when our first vehicle was. Um, so from 9 o'clock to 6 o'clock is about 8 hours. I mean, 9 hours, I want to say. Yeah, 9 hours. It's about 9 hours. Um, in between travel distance we have about an hour and like <clears throat> an hour and like 15 an hour and 20 minutes into traveling so let's just say we're at like set all in all realistically um we're at about seven and a half hours of straight work time so let me go ahead and give you guys a grand total of how much money i made today um my first transaction was on apple pay so i made 45 dollars on there second one you guys saw i made 60 dollars for tesla and the last and final truck I made $200. Um, I recently actually changed my price sheet and made it a little higher. So truck, a job like I just did um, is going to start being around like $250 to $300 uh, for full detail pretty much. So um, that's new, but these are old clients, old whatever. So I charged them my old prices. So $200 plus 60 plus 45 brings us to a grand total of $305. Now, obviously, you know, we got taxes on all that stuff. We're not even counting that for the sake of this video. I did spend um, $25 on like gas and like snacks from the gas station. So if you want to subtract that from the day, um, that brings us to uh, 280. So we have 280. And then if you guys want to know the hourly, um, $280 divided by 7.5 brings us to a grand total of $37 an hour. So not too shabby. I wish it could be better um, I don't know there's some things I got to work out with my business obviously there's kinks and stuff that I got to figure out um, how to maximize my money and obviously I've done that with the upping my prices but there's a few little things as far as like how fast I go and stuff that I could work on so yeah but that's about it for a day in the life of a mobile detailer you guys um, it's a lot of work you're in the Sun all day um, but it could be good money and uh, if you're a hard worker and you keep to it it could definitely be something uh, worth doing that's it for this video you guys i hope you guys did enjoy thank you guys so much if you guys stuck all the way until the end i really really appreciate it keep rocking with your boy um if you guys are interested in these type of videos please let me know in the comment section below if you guys have any video suggestions please let me know in the comment section below but that's it i'll see you guys next time please subscribe please like this video and uh see you guys in the next video peace